Section A, The Plot of Othello. The main characters of this tragedy are Othello, a Moor, who is the tragic figure, there's Desdemona, his wife, and Brabantio, Desdemona's father, Iago, the villain, who is an aide to Othello, and his wife, Amelia, who is Desdemona's lady-in-waiting, Cassio, an honorable lieutenant of Othello's. Finally, there's Roderigo, a Venetian gentleman who's been trying to woo Desdemona. Huh? The play takes place in Venice, Italy. Othello, a military general, has just secretly married Desdemona, who is the daughter of the Venetian senator Brabantio. Now, there's this gentleman, Roderigo, who is more than a tad peeved at Desdemona's marriage to Othello, because he'd been trying to court her too. Anyway, Roderigo is not the only one who's mad at Othello. This other guy, Iago, is too. Iago is an aide to Othello, and Othello has recently passed over Iago for a promotion. Instead, Othello gave the promotion to this guy named Cassio. Oh, wow. In a soliloquy, Iago tells the audience that although he will appear honest, he lives now only for revenge. Because they're both mad at Othello, Iago and Roderigo fall into cahoots with each other, and late one night they wake up Brabantio, that's Desdemona's father, to tell him of Desdemona's secret elopement with Othello. Brabantio is pretty upset by this news, so he gathers up a bunch of his buddies to go and confront Othello about stealing his daughter. Well, when they find the couple, Desdemona tells her father she loves Othello, and she married him of her own free will. Now, there's a little more going on here than meets the eye. You see, Othello is a Moor. What does that mean? Well, the Moors were black Africans, who among other things invaded and settled in Spain. Now, being black in the high society of Venice, Italy, makes Othello a bit of an outsider. Well, anyway, after this confrontation, the Duke of Venice orders Othello to go to Cyprus and quell a Turkish invasion of the island. Desdemona is to follow him there later, accompanied by the cunning Iago. Iago is plotting revenge. He enlists Roderigo into his plot by claiming that Desdemona will soon leave Othello, so Roderigo can then pick up back where he left off in courting her. This is Iago's plan. He will make Othello believe that Desdemona has been unfaithful. Namely, that the man who received the promotion, Michael Cassio, is Desdemona's lover. This way, Iago will delight in Othello's jealousy and also win the promotion away from Cassio. In Cyprus, the Turkish invasion is withstood, so everyone relaxes and enjoys the scenery. Iago tells Roderigo that Desdemona loves Cassio and suggests that he pick a fight with Cassio to disgrace him. Iago then gets Cassio drunk and has Roderigo pick the fight. Othello finds out about Cassio's behavior and immediately dismisses him from his post. Now it's time for Iago to play some mind games with Cassio. Here's what Iago suggests. Cassio should get Desdemona to intercede on his behalf with Othello. But you see, Iago secretly hopes Othello will misconstrue his wife's interest in Cassio and think that Desdemona and Cassio are actually having an affair. Well, Desdemona convinces her husband to restore Cassio to his position. But now Iago wants to play mind games with Othello. This guy just can't stop. Iago tells Othello, why is Desdemona willing to speak up for Cassio? And could it be that they're having an affair? Iago's mind games are working. Othello starts to doubt Desdemona's faithfulness. But Othello claims that he wants actual proof. Iago is more than happy to oblige. In time, he makes use of a handkerchief Othello had given Desdemona as a gift, which she lost. Iago's unwitting wife, Emilia, has found it, and Iago plants it in Cassio's room. Iago hopes this will make Othello believe that Cassio and Desdemona are having an affair. Othello is suspicious now, so he asks his wife for the handkerchief. Well, of course she can't give it to him because she doesn't have it. This is the final straw for Othello, who is now completely convinced of Desdemona's infidelity. The Moor vows to kill his unfaithful wife, and the ever-scheming Iago joins in by promising to kill her supposed lover, Cassio. Okay, Iago's scheming is going pretty well. Next, he arranges for Othello to eavesdrop on Cassio talking about his affair. Now, Cassio is actually talking about his relationship with another woman, not Desdemona. But Othello is so far gone that he has no clue. He thinks Cassio is talking about Desdemona. Shortly thereafter, Desdemona informs Othello that he has been ordered back to Italy and that Cassio will remain on the island to serve as his replacement. Well, because Desdemona seems happy about this, 
Othello strikes, then publicly humiliates her. Othello has been completely deceived by Iago. He totally mistrusts his completely innocent wife. Meanwhile, Iago and the dupe, Roderigo, are plotting Cassio's murder. Roderigo ambushes Cassio, but Cassio actually gets the best of his attacker and wounds oh. Roderigo. Iago then wounds Cassio from behind, so Cassio doesn't actually know who did it to him. After Othello arrives, Iago kills his co-conspirator, Roderigo, so that his scheme will not be exposed. As Desdemona prepares for bed, she remarks that she still loves Othello with all her heart, but can't understand his behavior. Othello later comes to her, awakens her, and tells her he knows of her infidelity with Cassio. She professes her innocence, but he smothers her. Amelia, Iago's wife, comes upon the scene. Othello tells Amelia of his wife's unfaithfulness, which can be backed up by Iago. Desdemona revives briefly, but only long enough to claim innocence. Iago and others, aroused by Amelia's shouts, come to the room. Amelia, who is unaware of her husband's plot, tries to clear Desdemona's name, but Iago kills her in front of everybody. This, however, basically exposes Iago's plot, and Othello, grief-stricken over his murder of Desdemona, kills himself. At play's end, Iago is left to the authorities to be punished. Woo! Not exactly an upbeat story. We can get a beat on this play by examining three main components. One, we'll analyze the three major characters, Othello, Iago, and Desdemona. Then two, we'll look at the three secondary characters, Cassio, Amelia, and Roderigo. And three, we'll follow the play's tragic movement. Let's examine the major characters first.